Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from Amanda Crochets and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this granny square blanket. This was highly requested so I thought I would make a granny square blanket that would be in a striping color as well as a solid color just to give you some different options. So the first one I'm going to show you is this striped blanket and I used three different colors for this. So I have two different shades of blue and then I have that off-white or that cream color in between each color. So for each color I had six rows and for the cream color I had two rows. And I thought it just turned out very nice. And this blanket as well as the solid color blanket are both approximately... 31 inch square so 31 inches across by 31 inches across for a, a complete square so this is the striped blanket and I used country blue off-white and soft blue and this is made using the Karen simply soft yarn and for the solid color I used the color Sunshine, and this is also Karen Simply Soft. And I just thought it was really nice, and I really liked that golden yellow color. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make the Granny Square Blanket, as well as how to change colors if you wanted to make it more of a striped color, and just get you the very basic um, construction of how to make this. So my blanket, whether I made the striped version or the salad version, I ended up making 32 rounds total. And again, it ended up being a 31 inch square. So let's get started on learning how to make the granny square blanket. So for today's tutorial, you're going to need a size H or 5 millimeter crochet hook. If you are using different yarn, you want to use the, yarn, the crochet hook that is recommended on your yarn label. So I'm using Karen Simply Soft and if you look on the yarn label, the recommended hook size is a size 8. So you want to use the coordinating hook size for whatever yarn that you want to use. So if you're using the same yarn that I'm using, again this is Karen Simply Soft, you're going to need two skeins of the two different colors and then one skein of the white and if you're making a solid colored blanket, you're going to need three skeins. So Karen Simply Soft is a 6 ounce skein or 170.1 grams. It's 315 yards or 288 meters. And it, it is 100% acrylic. It is a 4 medium worsted weight yarn. And again, it recommends a U.S. size H8 or 5 millimeter crochet hook. So I'm using country blue, so you're going to you're going to need two skeins of country blue. And then you're also going to need two skeins of soft blue. So this is how much I had left over with just that second skein. And for your white color or your cream color, you're going to use off white. And this is just one skein of off-white. Now if you're using the, if you want to make the solid color blanket, you're going to need three skeins of sunshine. And that's that golden yellow color. And this is how much I had left over after that third skein. So for my striped blanket, I ended up using country blue first. So you can start your granny square blanket in two different ways. You can either make a magic circle or you can chain four and then you can form a loop that way. So I will show you both ways really fast. I prefer to use the magic circle, but it depends on what you like to do and what your preference is. So first you're going to make a slip knot. And insert your hook. 
So if you're going to be making the chains first, all you're going to do is yarn over your hook and you're going to make a chain. So one, two, three, and four. And once you have your four chains, you're going to go back to that very first chain that you made. You're going to insert your hook, yarn over, and you're going to pull through both loops on your hook. And then if you pull that apart a little bit, it forms that circle or that loop. And then to continue, you would just follow along with the steps. So in this case, you will chain three and you will work right in that loop. Now, if you want to do that, you can, you are more than welcome to. If you want to learn how to make the magic circle, there are a few different ways of how to make the magic circle. This is just the way that works best for me. So if you find a different way, you can definitely use that as well. But I just have the tail end right in front of my finger and I just wrap the yarn around just like that. I get my crochet hook and I go underneath both loops on my finger. And then with this loop right here, you're going to just go ahead and pull that back. And then you're going to get that other loop and you're going to pull through. And then you're going to go ahead and chain three. So one, two, and three. And then you can take your finger out of that loop. And whether you started with the magic circle or you started with that chain four and formed your own circle, this is going to be the same throughout. So make sure you have your chain three. That chain three is going to count as your first double crochet. So to make the first round of your granny square, you're going to yarn over your hook and you're going to make two double crochets inside that loop. So to make a double crochet, you have your yarn over your hook, insert your hook underneath that loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. And that is your double crochet. Again, yarn over your hook, insert your hook under that loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So you should have a total of two double crochets and that chain three, so a total of three all together. Next, you're gonna form a corner, so you're gonna go ahead and chain two. Next, you're gonna make three double crochets in that same loop. So one, two, and three. Okay, so you have two corners right now. You're gonna make another corner, so chain two. And inside that circle, you're gonna go ahead and make three more double crochets. So one, two, and three. You have three corners. You're going to make your final corner by doing a chain two and three double crochets in that loop. Okay, so finally you're going to chain two again, and then you're going to get that tail and you're going to pull your work so it closes up. Now if you have the chain four, you should be able to close up your center a little bit, but it might not be as closed up if you were to use the magic circle. 
So then you're going to find the top of your chain three. So one, two, and three. And in the top of that chain three, you're going to insert your hook and make a slip stitch. So you should have four sections with that chain, with that double crochet three together. And then you should have four corners so it has the chain two, that's your corner. Okay, so now to make the next round, you're going to turn your work and right inside that corner space, you're going to go right underneath and make a slip stitch. Now after each round of your granny square blanket, you're going to turn your work. And the reason why we turn our work is so that way your square turns out square. Sometimes you're, if you keep working in a continuous loop, your work kind of slants slightly. And I found that if you turn your work after every round, your granny square remains square and not off kilter. So just keep that in mind. If you did want to make a continuous granny square, you were more than happy to do so. I just prefer to change, uh, to turn my rounds after each time. So once you have your slip stitch in that corner space, you're going to go ahead and chain three. And again, that chain three counts as your first double crochet. So you're going to start with that corner space and you're going to make two double crochets in that corner space. So one and two. And then to finish your corner, you're going to chain two and you're going to work three double crochets all in that same chain two space. Now you might have to move over your work in order to fit everything inside, but you're going to make three more double crochets for that corner space. Okay, next you're going to chain one and you're going to find your next corner and you're going to work three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So you're going to completely skip over that three double crochets you're going to find your next chain two space, which is your corner space, and you're going to work three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. And that is how you make your corner. Three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Okay, once you have your corner, you're going to chain one and you're going to repeat, repeat that with the next corner. So again, skip over that those three double crochets, find your next corner, and in that chain two space, make three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Okay, so we have our final corner. So again, chain one. And in our final corner, you're going to make three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Chain two three double crochets. Okay, and then to finish your round, you're gonna chain one, you're gonna go over to that chain three, and then at the top of that chain three, you're going to go ahead and make a slip stitch. And then that is what two rounds looks like. 
So basically what you did is you started here and you worked the corners and by working the corners you provided an extra space. So when you work each corner you're going to have two chains in between your three double crochets and then when you have that chain one that is going to be considered your side. So you have your corners here and in between you're going to have your side. So each side is going to have a chain one and each corner is going to have a chain two. So you're going to turn your work and in that chain one space you're going to go ahead and slip stitch and then you're going to go ahead and chain three. So right in that chain one space you're going to work your side as I'm going to call it and you're going to work two double crochets and remember that chain three counts as your double crochet okay so you have your three double crochets and now you can chain one and you're coming up to your first corner so again for your corner three double crochets chain two, turn your work, and make three more double crochets in that corner space. Okay, so you're coming up to your next side, so you're going to chain one, and in that side you're going to simply make three double crochets. Chain one. When you come to your next corner, you're going to make three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, all in that corner space. And you're just going to repeat this all the way around. So again, chain one, and then next side, you're going to make three double crochets. Chain one, your next corner, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So remember, every time you have a corner, you're going to have two double crochets you're going to have two chain stitches in between your three double crochet clusters and then when you have your side of your granny square blanket you're going to have one chain in between. So after you do your corner, chain one, find that next chain one space and make three double crochets. chain one, find your next corner, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Chain one, and find the top of the chain three that you made at the very beginning and slip stitch your work together. So the more rounds that you make the more sides you're going to have. So you started right here and you just had the four corners. For the next round you had just one side and now that you have your next round you're going to have two sides. So you're just going to keep building and building in the same fashion. So after every round you're going to turn your work and you're going to chain three and you're going to work in those chain spaces. So each side you're going to work three double crochets, chain one, 
three double crochet, chain one. And then when you get to each corner, you're going to make three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So if you wanted to change colors, you're going to go ahead and fasten off your work. So you're going to leave a tail, just like that, to weave in. And you're just going to yarn over your work and pull through. And then you're going to go ahead and introduce your new color. So first, turn your work. And you're going to go ahead and introduce your new color. Because I have a white background, I'm just going to go ahead and use that lighter blue color just so you can understand how to change colors. But again, for my original blanket, I did six rounds of each color. And then I did two rounds of that off white color in between. So you can start, you can basically start in any chain space that you would like, whether you want to start in the corner or you want to start in the chain one space, but make sure you turn your work after each round, as I mentioned. And you're going to go in that next space. Leave a little bit of a tail for your new color. And then just simply lay your yarn over the crochet hook and pull through that chain one space or that chain space and then all you're going to do is chain three. Once you chain three you're going to make two double crochets in that same space. Now if you're working the side like I am you're going to make two double crochets chain one. If you're working the corner, you're going to make a chain three, two double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. And then you continue as normal. So you have your three double crochets, chain one, in that next side or that chain one space, you're going to go ahead and make three double crochets. And then you're going to go ahead and chain one. For the, that first corner, you're going to make three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. And that's pretty much the pattern. The granny square is a very easy stitch pattern. And all you need to do is do the same thing for each round. You can change up the colors like I did. You can make it this in a variegated. You can make this in a solid color. So whatever you would like to do. All you would have to know is that when you make your corners, I did a chain two in between my three double crochets. And for each of the sides, I made a chain one in between the three double crochets. And then again, it's important to turn your work after each round in order for your square to remain straight and not go slightly slanted. But again, that's just my personal preference. If you want to go in the same direction each time, you can definitely do that. Just know that your granny square might be slightly slanted if you do not turn after each round. And then for my finished granny square baby blanket, I ended up making 32 rounds total. And that ended up being about 31 inches for a square. So let me show you the finished blanket again. So here is the striped blanket. So I have six rows of each of the colors and then I have the two rounds of the white or the off-white and then I ended with that off-white color. You can use any color that you want. You can use two different shades of pink to make this a baby girl blanket. You can make this in a gender neutral color. You can make this in 
any color to fit your home decor or your baby nursery or friend's baby nursery, whatever you would like. And for the solid color, this is just what the solid col color looks like. Just to get you, give you an ex example of what the two different blankets look like. So thank you so much for joining me today and learning how to make the Granny Square Baby Blanket. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learn how to make this and enjoy making this blanket. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, happy crocheting! Bye!